Multiple pens cannot be one bigger than well, one was a fact. Today I'm going to show you one very interesting example. Uh, I will deploy one TikTok game, um, TikTok token, TikTok token uh, in, uh, in the AWS. It's, it's created with uh, React Jails. It's going to be popping some of the open source publicly available GitHub repositories. I will deploy it in AWS and I will then link a domain to that so that uh, I can see, I can show you how to deploy React Jails games. So it's very simple. I'm just going to just copy this whole project in my local. So we can just take this system so that like this. And then uh, I can read that thing locally. And then I will uh, push that code into my code from it from my repository where I will uh, make some adjustments, slight adjustments, and then I will deploy it to amplify and then link my domain. Right? So yes, that's good. So at first I copied locally the project and if I see uh, this is the main project run run okay, I should run the project okay. five one seven two is very simple to do okay. maybe that's good works fine um very simple there are a lot of uh, GitHub repos that evolution you can just choose one of those it's developed with reactors and you can see the flow it's very simple it's very so, the next thing is we use this project and created a code from its repository so i will never do that but when you know how to create code from its repository it's a AWS uh, repository system where you put your code. So it's a equivalent of GitHub, but inside of AWS. So it's very simple. You can create the repository in a terminal and you can create it. Let's go back. And uh, now, uh, this is the very basic uh, setup of this project. If you see, there's a GitHub file, uh, there's a package.json, if you've seen the GitHub.json, uh, scripts there is in your byte in the application and that's all. What we need to add here it's one simple file which is called um, file and uh, here I'm going to uh, create an amplifier.yml file which will uh, tell to the amplify application what are the commands to install, what are the commands to build, and what is the folders? So let's do this program. And then I'm going to accept it, but I'm just going to have a couple of things. First of all, uh, we need to implement the line. So we're going to do the same and then install. And then we're going to run the build. Let's go to the base building. This is the same thing. And then we're going to do this. I don't need back then. Yes, and the other questions are good. That's an important one. Okay. If you don't have this, that is also okay. You can use the from one problem, but I will not even talk about that, right? That you can get in the file by myself. So, uh, if you go to the browser, I will say changes here. If you go to the script, now let's go to the computer to create the file. So, we have a script to file, and then from the repository source, we can use it. Next. I'm going to choose the one to one branch and next one. Then we have an engine from the room, but it's a base of the school, and the government's 
So it will take around three or four minutes time to deploy. Next time we will change the deploy. Now, while it is being deployed, let's go to those things and custom events. I have some uh, already purchased domains which I can just use in point in the application. So, um, let's go to the Okay, this is not the picture, but so here we can do not the information on the because this is not just to be with the picture. We have first step here, we can not fail. So, I'm going to fill it and copy the number of the person. Okay, and then I'm going to put it in the direction, but I will just make it on the page. So it will give me one of these uh, DNS records. So just add this. Very simple. I'm just going to uh, make it in the system one. And then I'm going to send it to the system. And then what I'm going to do is and the Okay, so it will take around the uh, two to minutes time for changes to the world. Meanwhile, uh, we can continue to uh, So there must be something wrong. And then we try to find it since we can keep it easy. It's a bit weird because uh, it's not able to pull the open repository uh, access. But it's a little bit. Let's go to the general settings and uh, so, um, there is, yes. so this is the thing we change something in the amplifier, which is uh, just pick up any of the uh, role that is available. But from this list, we should choose the one that is related to amplifier. So, you should amplify, just save, and then we go to the video, the deployment plans, and click on the should like to be Okay, so while it's being let's go back to the project and see this is the status of the Okay, this is the issue is done. And then we will make the so it should be all right. And then we will see is we are going to copy the report the next step. It's an issue. So let's be and what is the reason now? It's Again, 
chip on the disk role has permissions to access control. So, um, Maybe it doesn't have a position. It has a position. It has a policy. Okay, if there's this issue, we will not only fix only settings in the file detail role. We need to add necessary permissions. And if you add necessary permissions, it should be able to be able to function. Amplify. The benefit of Amplify is that it's a managed service. So we don't have to worry about uh, ensuring the infrastructure behind it. it will be rendering an application with uh, optimized caching and things. Now that's good. You can go to can copy from the report. Now let's go back. It should do Let's see whether our um, the main is here. Because this is uh, not a party, that's a default screen. This is the default screen to call it the default. And then we see the certificate is using our cell. I should have mentioned Back and see what we call it. Actually, we have a final because you can see that we have not been served. It's not building. It's building. I think we will get that as well. Once the build process is done, then the process will get more. The build process is done, the more build. And the deployment is also done. Now let's see. And here is our pin to check the pin. Okay, let's go simple. That's it. So, what we learned today, we uh, copied the project from GitHub. So, we open the project, and it's copied. And then we added a uh, Automatic repository, we have done the amplifier with the unit file, we created the amplifier pipeline, and then uh, develop the project with the amplifier. After that, we read our domain of the project, so we view it, we create features, we can find some, we can do it with supplement as well, in supplement as well. So, that's the tutorial for today. And if you like it, if you do, please subscribe to my channel and share. Thanks, thank you everyone for watching this.